Oh, you look like you're in for some serious shots in the bag. <laughs> Eight, please. Thank you. A bit cooler today, which is good. A bit cooler. Oh, cooler, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was it hot yesterday? Yeah. I'm in yeah. the yesterday as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you all right? Are you all right? Got your ticket, please? Yeah. How about nice day? And you. Okay. Got there a bit early, so chilled out with the coke and just waited for everyone to set up. Three pounds. How about your golf bags? The I golf. Got prices on. Are they? Yes. Oh, they? Yes. I might be laid down. Oh, they did have a price on them. What would you like to offer? <laughs> <laughs> How much are we open? I don't know. Oh, we're selling the golf clubs five pound each. Yeah. And I think, what do you want? Do you reckon ten or twenty? Give him a quick buzz. Right. He's coming now, so he'll come. Okay, yeah, no worries. I'll hang around. Don't want him chasing me back to the car. <laughs> no, well, I don't know because there is, and he's just yeah, that's didn't right. need as much instructions. <laughs> How much do you want for your ghost stuff, the gentleman? Mm -hmm. Set. Yeah, the bags maybe. Would you would you sell it separately or? I'd sell it separately. I'd sell anything. Yeah, I'd sell it all separately or whatever. For the bag. Yeah. Fiver. Fiver. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Yeah. <coughs> all it means is a zip on here. That is just, okay. The zip's still there. It's just come out the bottom. Come I don't have a clue. And it's all, it's none of it's like none of the zip broken along here. Yeah. It's just I couldn't work out how to put the put the actual. Zip yeah, back I have no idea. YouTube might know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab that one then. Nice one. No worries, boss. Thank you. Nice. Good match. What's that? Oh, what have we got in your little iron, man? Fiver. Fiver. What's the best you could do on him? What can you offer? 250? Three. Yeah, go for it. How much have we got on that one? Good. How much, sorry? Couple of quid. Couple of quid. Yeah, I'll grab that one, please. Yeah, well, I try. <laughs> I just hit the ball. <laughs> I'm not any good. I'm not any good. Sorry? No. No, no. Definitely not. Sorry, that's all I've got. I think. Oh, no, I've got a five. That's easier. Yeah, I'm not any good at golf. I try. I'll just go for the beers afterwards. <laughs> nice one. Thank you very much. Now this part is kind of freaking out because I know nothing about Marvel. All I know is some of it has value, some of it doesn't. So as he's setting this up, I'm panicking, thinking, when should I put out my phone to start scanning stuff? Should I even bother? Um, yeah, I was panicking. This clip does end because I do stop the recording to put out my phone to start scanning stuff. But yeah, had to in the end. When the deal was done and I bought what I bought, I went around the corner, set up my phone again, and we set off again. But yeah, I was panicking at the start. Didn't know what to pick up, didn't know what to scan, but he was actually a really nice guy and didn't mind me scanning all his stuff. So yeah, we got there in the end. They're pretty, though. How much have we got in your bike jacket? Sorry? How much have you got on that one? That bike. one there. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't be a lot for You ride a bike? No. Never was allowed to. <laughs> Are you going to oh, oh, the mum's band yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, what do we reckon? 15, 20? 
How much have you got in your shoes? White shoes there. Um, How much, sorry? Two quid. Two quid. Yeah, I'll grab them, please. How about the Nike bag? That one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. One sec. Three quid for the bag? We do two pounds? Oh, go on then. Yeah. That one. Two quid, mate. Two quid. Did you do a quid? Yeah. Yeah. I like a party. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. How much have you got on that one? A pound. Yeah, I'll grab that one, please. Time to go again. Just drop the stuff off back at the van. Empty bags, and we go again. Phone is on 13%, though, but we'll do what we can. How much have we got that one? Two quid. Two quid. Two pounds. Always good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab that one, please. Right. Completely free of charge. She didn't want anything for him. Don't get wrong with that. I haven't looked up what they're worth, but still. Literally the whole set, every season, top to bottom. Some are still, still in the ceiling, as you can see. Pretty good. How much have you got in the other golf bag? How much was the other golf bag? Fiver. Fiver. How about this, like the cover? Cover? Two pounds. Two pounds? We'll do six pounds for both. Yeah? Yeah. Wicked. How much have you got in that one? I'll do two for a fiver. Two for a fiver? Yeah. Deal? Yeah. 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 Grab them two, please. Yes, you lovely bunch. We have got another car boot haul. Um, this one is a little bit different. I've never got to a car boot early before. Uh, obviously, you can pay early entry. This time I did. It cost me £8. So bear that in mind when I go through the stuff. We need to earn our £8 back. Like I said, I've never done it before. I wanted to give it a go and... The girlfriend usually comes with me, so I can't really do it because she doesn't want to get up early enough to go early. This time she was busy, so I had a little bit of free time. I went by myself and uh, yeah, we got there early. And today we're going to see if that was actually worth it, if I should do it again. Um, let me know if you guys do that. Is that something you do? You get there early or do you get there on normal time? There's obviously pros and cons to both. If you get there early, you've got to pay that eight quid, uh, the six quid extra. Um, and then obviously you've got to try and earn that back. So you are a bit in the pocket before you even start. But yeah, is it worth it? Who knows? Today we're going to find out. Also, it's quite tricky to tell because if I'd got there normal time, there's no saying that this stuff wouldn't have been there. Um, but yeah, we're going to just go on the guess that it wouldn't be. But who knows? So I'm usually someone who just picks up uh, clothes and soft toys and shoes. But I've just started to sort of dive into different areas. I used to be a lot of toys and all the rest of it. Um, and I'm going back to it, basically. So this one is going to be a little bit different in terms of what I usually pick up and what I picked up this time. That's enough of me blabbering. Let's get on to what I've actually picked up. This isn't going to be in any particular order. We're just going to start with whatever I can grab first. I'm going to start with the freebies, actually, because that's pretty cool. And I'm not going to pick them up because they're heavy. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Look at that. That's that. And what it is, is this Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it is all the VHS tapes of that series. I've never heard of that series, but yeah, they were completely free. Um, so again, I can't really go wrong. Worst case scenario, they go down the charity shop and I've wasted 10 minutes of my life, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's worth the gamble. I looked them up already online and I will pop up some prices um, roughly. I'm not sure what they're worth, but from memory, they were about five pounds a box, which hopefully I can bundle them up and get like 20, 25 quid for. If not, like I say, it's not the big deal. Next up, we picked up this helmet. Um, again, I have no idea. I believe it's a motorbike helmet. It looks pretty uh, pretty uh, intense. But yeah, like I say, I didn't really know much about it. I paid two pounds for it. Can't really go wrong for that. Come with a little bag as well, which is quite nice. Um, 
but yeah i will pop up on screen if there's any similar ones that have sold but yeah i'm not sure this there's got to be at least a tenner in that right i'm not entirely sure like i say i would have popped up on screen our next pickup came in the form of this bag this is a nike bag um decent nick can't really go wrong paid a couple of quid for it there's no serious damage to it or anything like that maybe you could do with a little bit of a wipe off but yeah it's quite nice it's like a it's like a leathery type of feel it's not leather obviously but it's that sort of um rubbery sort of feel but yeah nice little bag uh i got it for two quid like i say i will pop up on similar ones but let's just say there's an easy tenner in that profit hopefully who knows but yeah we're going to aim for 10 15 quid on that bam mug life baby mug life till i die <laughs> Anyone who loves Gary Vee knows all about Mug Life. Uh, this is a Disney Buzz Lightyear mug, and it's like 3D, um, like they were like sort of, yeah, 3D sort of mug. Really nice. Uh, it says four pound. Got it for two in the end, which is quite cool. Um, and I'd imagine about 10 pounds. I'll pop it up on screen, it might be less, um, but yeah. And then we picked up some Jordans for two pounds. This was the same person who with the bag. Um, they're not in great condition or anything like that, but for two pounds, I thought I'd try my luck. Um, they're not awful condition. There's a couple marks on them. I did see, you know, a little bit on the scuff on there. They're not too bad. Um, I mean, hopefully we can sort of scrape a tenner, give them a bit of a wipe off, and uh, hopefully I can scrape a tenner out of them. And then we picked up this bad boy, a tailor-made uh, golf club cover. Um, this cost me a quid, essentially. Uh, picked up by someone else, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, paid £6 for both, paid about £5 for like, one of them. And then obviously this was the quid. Um, but yeah, tailor made. I'm not sure how much these are worth, but I'm sure there's profit in it. Uh, I'll put again, pop it up on screen. But yeah, there's got to be profit in that for a quid, right? And this, this was the second pickup that come along with that golf club cover. It's a bloody massive um, tailor made bag, golf bag. It's paid five pounds, uh, and they've been selling for like between like 40 and 60 pounds on eBay, I did see. But this one isn't in amazing condition. Um, it is a bit scuffed up, if I can show you that. As you can see, it's a bit marked up, peeling back a little bit. But it is a really smart one. It's really unique, but like, I didn't see any like this um, actually on eBay. So hopefully that brings in a little bit. But like I say, it, is, it has seen better days. It's a little bit ripped in there. It has seen better days, but at the end of the day, I did pay a five before that. So I should be able to get 20 quid profit out of it. It's say 30 quid all in, um, minus your fees, minus your shipping. Should hopefully get around 20 pounds profit. Bit of a boring pickup, well, not really, but it's a wolf t shirt, it's quite cool. Um, that's just going to go in my shop. I've got a vintage clothing shop next door, and it's going to go in there, maybe in the three pound uh box or on the shelf. I'm not entirely sure, but I only paid like a quid for it. So, these next two pickups are quite possibly two of the coolest pickups I've ever got at a car boot sale. Um, it is a green, what's his name, green arrow, uh, vintage sort of um marble book good nick good, good condition all the rest of it uh looked it up on ebay and it's about 15 to 20 quid i'm pretty sure i'll pop them up here couldn't find many like it but yeah hopefully i can make about 10 15 pounds on this i did pay a five before it which is quite a lot but i thought i took a chance on it as i'm trying to push the boat out and trying to learn a little bit about sort of comics and marvels and so i decided to pick that up I was a little bit upset with myself at the car boot sale because I had to leave because I ran out of money. Uh, I took about 100 quid and I ran out. I was a bit gut over that. So note to self, next time if I get there early, take more. And this was the next pickup. This is probably one of the coolest pickups, but I did I did drop it and I have been beating myself up about that all night last night. I was literally gutted with myself. But yeah, this is what it is. It's a Green Lantern. Is it, yeah. Yeah. Green Lantern um, book. It's in a cover really smart really good condition other than my stupid self dropped it on the corner there obviously it land on the corner obviously um but yeah other than that it's in perfect condition um and i did see them online for like between 40 and 60 quid again none of them actually were in the uk though so that's a different um market i guess but yeah hopefully i can get about 40 quid i did pay 15 for it which is obviously quite a lot. It's quite a lot to uh, take a gamble on. He basically collects them and he was just trying to get rid of them. His mum was there and she was slagging them off. It was quite funny. I did stop recording that, which is a little bit upsetting because it would have been quite funny to get that on camera. His mum like giving him crap for like storing too many books at home and stuff. Apparently he collects these in comics and all sorts. So yeah, it would have been quite, but I had to stop the recording basically so I could look them up. He didn't, it was quite cool about it. He didn't mind me looking them up um, in front of him. He was completely fine with that. Told him what I was up to, he was fine with it. He just wanted to give me a fair price and get a fair price, which is always a good way of going about it. 
Sometimes being transparent does help because he did pick out a couple that were worth something. But I started scanning a couple and he pointed this out to me, he said this one's worth a lot. So it is worth sometimes just being that little bit transparent with the uh, with the dealer and dealer, bloody hell, with the person behind the uh, counter. And they Sometimes they help you out. Back onto the old clothing. Um, we've got another piece of clothing here. It is a salt rock uh, jumper, quite cool. I wouldn't usually pick this up, but it was a quid and it's quite unique in the uh, pattern front. This is just a full zip jumper, um, fur lined. Probably won't sell for a couple of months, mind bearing in mind the weather at the minute. But yeah, still for a quid, can't really go wrong with that. Even if it goes for five, 10 pounds, um, it's still kind of worth picking up. I'm trying to move away from only making uh, like five pounds on, on a thing. I'm trying to now set myself a minimum of, I have to earn 10 pounds an item. And that's all I'm allowed to pick up because I fall into the trap of trying to pick up things I'm making like six quid on and it's not really worth it. When you bear in mind the shipping, the fees, uh, the, f the stress of it getting there and all the rest of it, sometimes it's not worth it. So that's a new regime, trying to pick up stuff where I make at least 10 pounds on it. Without making 10 pounds on something, we come next with these Levi shorts. They're actually women's shorts. Again, they're gonna go in the shop. I paid four pounds and I get about 14, 15 quid for them in the shop. Again, I picked this one up for the shop. Um, it's nothing crazy. I'm not even sure what brand it is, but it's just a cool print t-shirt, graphic t-shirt that also go in the shop, probably go in the five pound box that we've got in the shop or a lucky dip that we do for three pounds. So again, there's not really much profit in it, but I think it cost me like 50p or a quid. So can't really go wrong. This is a reasonably good pickup, an Adidas pullover jumper, like sweatshirt thing. Um, I paid two pounds for it. It's in pretty much perfect condition. Uh, can't really go wrong with that. Probably get about 12, 10 to 12 quid for that. So not bad. Again, hitting that 10 pound goal. This is from the same stall. It's another jumper. Again, two pounds. Uh, it's just a plain Nike navy blue jumper. Again, hopefully get about 10 or for that. So all right on the brink of earning that 10 pounds profit. But like I say, I'm always going to pick up that sort of thing, even if it goes at the shop. This one I wasn't sure about. <clears throat> it's a big Iron Man figure. I think it's supposed to have guns, um, like a bullet thing there. There's no button to actually press that, I don't think. Or maybe that's it there. That presses in in the middle, so maybe that's what it is. But yeah, he's got a little cannon. I think he's supposed to have bullets. He doesn't have bullets, but yeah. I paid three pounds, which is probably too much. But yeah, he's quite cool, he's quite beefy, he's quite big. Maybe I'll get 10 or four him. It's not probably not one of the best pickups of the day, but yeah, it is what it is. Sticking on the theme of Marvel and toys and all that fun stuff, we've got these two action figures. Um, they were both £2.50 each, he was doing a deal, £5 for two, so I picked up these. These are the best ones out of the lot. But yeah, we've got an Incredible Hulk wearing Thanos' glove, which I've never seen or heard about. But yeah, he's got that one, and he's got a Venom toy might bundle them up might not but this one they're probably for bundle them i'll probably get 20 quid if separate i might get 10 pounds each again i'm not that um well knowledge and, and up to date on these sort of marvel toy front which is exactly why i picked them up i gotta try and learn that side of it because i do see toys a lot and this sort of thing again marvel is obviously popular so i picked them up just more to learn um knowing they'll be profitable anyway but yeah just trying to learn what works how do you guys go about learning your sort of products and your niches? Do you watch, obviously you're watching YouTube channels now, you're watching mine, but um, I have started doing that. I start watching people that are more successful than me at it. So it's obviously a great way of doing it and I obviously do that as well, but another way I do it is buy stuff, take a chance and stuff. How else do you guys do it? Is there another way of doing it? Um, obviously, because you can't walk around with your phone looking up every item, you never get any, but anywhere really, would you be there all day? So how else do you guys do it? Is there another way of doing it? Am I missing something? Pretty boring pickup, um, North Face t-shirt, 50 pence. Um, it's a little bit marked up and stained, so it's gonna go in our three pound pot. Boring pickup, but yeah, let's get on to the next one. Paid 14 pounds, which was our last, last 14 pounds we had to spend on three pairs of shoes. This is obviously only two pairs, but yeah, we got a pair of white bands, uh, probably could do with a wash. Probably get about a tenner for those, so nothing crazy. And then we got some white Air Forces. When, when once cleaned up, we'll probably get about 10 to 15 pounds. And these were the reason why I picked up the other two was trying to bring the price down for these. So she wanted a tenner for these Adidas Superstars. They're really good condition. They're like perfect condition pretty much, but only been worn a couple of times. As you can see, it's literally brand new on the bottom other than a little bit of dirt. So she wanted 10 pounds for them and she helped. She had a couple more. So I tried to bundle them up like I usually do, get a little bit of price off them and make it worth it. But I should get about 20, 25 quid for these. They are literally brand new. 
So that was actually a decent little flip really, um, picking up three pairs of shoes for 14 and I'll probably end up getting minimum 30, 35 quid for all three pairs, so not bad. And I believe that is gonna do it guys. So that is all we managed to pick up. I was really excited to get there and get there early and with the new mindset of picking stuff up that's made me more than a tenner, I was really excited to actually get involved and pick up some uh, different sort of stuff other than clothing. It does make it a lot more enjoyable than just picking up clothing and it shows how much I've missed uh, like in the in the past by only picking up clothing because there is a lot of profit in the toys and in the bags and in the golf stuff and all the rest of it there's loads in obviously you know what car boots are like there's so much stuff there that if you just focus on clothes you're going to miss out on a lot that is going to do it for this video if you got something from it and you did enjoy it please like the video and subscribe because it does go a long way and i do really appreciate it but until next time take care i'll see you on the next one